morning everyone this is marita from spiritual serenity i want to first of all say thank you for all your subscribes and for watching this video i really really appreciate all your help and your support so having said that um i also want to say that today would be the last day to jump the timelines and like secure your 5D timelines as I have heard and as I've been made to prepare by my guides so just letting you know so if there's any loose ends in your divine mission that you needed to um, quickly finish or any issues, any karmic issues or any fears that you need to heal or anything like that this would be a good day to heal so that we're ready having said that we have the divine masculines first so today we have the divine masculines coming out of this this judgment literally judgment they were in judgment about themselves they were harshly judging themselves they were always feeling like they were not good enough like there wasn't enough happening in their life or they're just not good enough by the standards of the society and then they they compared themselves to other people and then said maybe she can do better about the divine feminine and that kind of created this this feeling of being unworthy but now they are coming out of that stage today today they are conquering their their fears their feeling of unworthiness to understand that there's something from the higher dimensions that are coming in to help him help him understand and help him know that he is good enough at a soul level because he has accomplished so much i mean if you're a twin flame you're basically a very old soul a very like an ascended soul and you have lived many lifetimes learned many uh, different things and it's a highly evolved soul so there's they are coming here and like so many different types of beings are here who are highly evolved at this time on earth to help with the ascension so he's coming to understand that there's he's just him being himself is good enough <laughs> there's no need to be rich or like the most handsome and stuff them all or anything like that and like you know like a perfect job perfect income it doesn't matter because he's realizing that he his attention his emotions his love his support is what the divine feminine needs everything else is provided like all these the wealth come and go everything just comes and goes but what comes from the soul level he's realizing is what brings harmony is what brings this bond so that with that understanding he's realizing that maybe there you know there's um there's no need for all these maybe there's no need for all this like um like this grandness in life it's about understanding the simplistic nature of being human not the artificially created type of a being but the true essence of being human is just being yourself and coming to do what you came here to do sharing your gifts with others and 
and then getting their gifts in return and is that there's this beautiful exchange of energy money is just one form of energy but it is not the energy and then how the society is formed is one way of viewing things but it's not the higher perception so it's really like it they're really coming to the t- coming to terms with the fact that they're they are good enough they're understanding that that the divine feminines just need them to be there for them or just need them because they make the divine feminines feel complete so they're understanding that I mean, not that they didn't understand it before, but like really grasping and coming to terms with just being himself. It doesn't matter if he has like a lot of property or whatever. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, you can earn those things later. You can earn whatever that needs to come. But that union, he's under, he's getting into the union energies. Yesterday, you guys saw the lover's card. And it's 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 inevitable now there's no stopping it so there's a lot of factors coming into play to give us clarity to bring that harmony and the union into place locking that into place so the only thing that the uh, the divine masculines are kind of sort of struggling with is still trying to kind of come to this stability in the physical level which is fine because we are all working towards that so the divine is helping right now the help that we're getting is the divine intervention and the divine help not we are the the divine masculine so And then the Divine Masculine is having these people coming to his life to help him through Divine Intervention or what do you call that? These fated events. You know, these fated events. Like he's getting the help he needs, the push he needs to go forward. So that's really bringing him happiness. That's the inflow today for him. That's the Divine Help. The help from the universe coming in today for him because he's worrying about like what's his stability well how it's gonna be but it's all being set up like all these people are coming and then like each person is kind of like that that landmark on your path to success so each person is helping you to get to that place it's showing you it's kind of like guiding you to the right destination so that's what it is so the divine feminines are coming out of that internal struggle does he love me or does he love me not (laughs) and then some other internal turmoil that you guys have been going through for example maybe it's coming from the fears that you're healing from fears from your childhood or any unhealed wounds so those things are coming up and you might have to struggle with it and find what to learn and how to heal it and let go of it like i myself was in kind of this this turmoil situation last night and i just felt like i've been suffocating i have no freedom i am just suffocating and i just wanted to be free and i really wanted to go outside for a walk but it was like minus 22 fahrenheit here in Chicago and it feels like 30 something 40 something and what time it went up to like minus 55 for two days everyone has been inside I couldn't open a window so this is yeah this is some arctic Siberian tundra type of shit happening here so thanks Canada for the cold front <laughs> but yeah so I just just felt suffocated but I contacted my DM and he made me feel better so here I am I feel much better today <laughs> so I guess I healed from whatever that was so there's a lot of stuff coming up and um, t- 
take this time to heal because this week is a good time astrologically is a very good time to heal like the deep deep dark wounds so it's easier for you to ask for them to come up and heal now than waiting for it later because the energy waves get hotter and hotter not harder but like more stronger so the more you embody the light easier it becomes so better to heal now than later and then when you learn to heal it becomes faster so that's what i think so the divine feminines are being the divine feminines are feeling like there is this um there's a there's good things coming in they know it and there's um like all these mini tower moments happening to heal don't worry tower moments are not the end of your life or anything like that but sometimes you just have to forget about everything else and that's what i do when i feel like i have to heal something i let go of everything else i go into a meditation or something or just sit down and ask what is there to heal get that done and then go to work or something like that or work on your other stuff better to get that out of the way than pushing it aside because that is the top priority the faster you heal the more you are free to do your work and the work gets faster rather than you struggling through everything you know so right now today it's like there's there's a lot of coming out of that energy that issues any impending old issues that are coming up repeated cycles that you see in your life through people in your life and there's one coming up for me and i have no clue what to do like i want to confront this person but then i don't know if i should or not so and my guides are telling me that it's their lesson to learn through someone else i don't have to deal with it anymore but i do want to let them know what they did to me so it's a lot it's like there's a lot of turmoil internal turmoil and like decisions to be made and it's all i think in free will but eventually i'm sure you're going to heal one way or the other but just it's just that working through those things you know and if there's if there's a if you're feeling like your pace is slow when it comes to your divine mission your business or work that's okay there's nothing called slow or fast it's your own pace and there's absolutely no reason to rush because one of the things that my guides have always told me and always reminds me is do your work in your time there's no rush like if you try to overtake others you you won't because you're still going to be like running against something you just have to go with your you have to run with your own um flow of energy i guess that's what it is just mind your own business and do your own thing the way you're guided to that's it you know don't worry about like i do the same thing sometimes you know like i'm just like oh you know i'm not where i want to be but i'm just like that's okay i really have to come to ter- i had to come to terms with it but i'm just like that's okay because this is my pace and to be honest so far i'm very happy with the progress i've made and there's a little bit of healing to do there's always healing to do there's so much of deep wounds that we all have so it's just a matter of taking your time and you know when you have to heal you have to heal when you're given a break you do your work that's how it goes and uh, what divine feminines are struggling with is that establishing themselves establishing their spiritual business or like their work right now they're trying to organize things and Uh, like you know cross the t's and dot the i's and get things organized and find clarity in what they're supposed to be doing and doing it 
so it's kind of like they're building right now they're building the house and brick by brick they're building it and it's just a matter of patience but they're it's not it's not necessary necessarily a struggle it's more like that's what they're really focused on and think of it think of as a problem or a goal to work towards so that's what's happening but the good thing the good thing that's going on for them is there's a lot of there's a lot of work hard work that she has done that's paying off you know that like she's so strong now there's a lot of strength within her like she's able to do a lot withstand a lot tell people off a lot like right now i'm i, I surprise myself sometimes i tell people off very easily not like in a rude way but i put them in their place as soon as they come with a narcissistic comment or something that otherwise would have made me feel like oh i should take a step back or made me feel self-conscious now i tell them and then they go like oh i was just joking i'm like okay so there's a lot there's a long way that we have come so it's coming to the top it's basically yeah coming going to the top and and just breaking through all these barriers these things that are coming up that just doesn't make our path clear but there's a lot of self-made victory like we're now we have that flow of things because the most of the hard healing part is over so we are able to focus on other things now so like we are really really getting that guidance and going forward with the, our work so there's a lot of um breakthroughs happening and a lot of victories happening so know and trust and just none of the people who are coming to hurt you or come to who are coming to do things against you are going to prosper they're really um there has been people in your life who are coming back again now to kind of pick at you push your buttons you know hit you where it hurts but but you know better now you know exactly what their tactics are you see right through them so you're not going to fall for that again and you know how exactly how to handle them some people you tell them off some people you go like okay and I pretend like you don't see it but none of that can affect you now because you've come a long way there's a lot of um there's a lot of transformation happening all this all this you know like if there if someone comes to comes with a negative intention that situation quickly turns around and that's not in their favor and you will see you will see that in a lot of people who have negative intentions towards you 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 will see that karma negative karma coming back to them almost immediately and the divine will show it to you like it's no joke right now like no one is going to harm or touch the divine feminine with the negative intentions of doing anything against her or like stop her from completing her mission you know there's there's going to be a, like obviously it's going to there's going to be attacks from the dark side but now you're not blind you know nothing can set you back now you're not blind you're going forward you're going forward and you're you're more cautious and you know you can feel people's energy so that time of turmoil is over and just just keep going forward at the bottom of the deck is um 3 of wands that's also just for both the twins we're just we've worked at a lot of things we're just waiting for their progress you know things are sprouting and we're we're just waiting for that for that integration mind body and soul is what i'm getting we're getting that integration of mind body and soul 
we're coming to the clarity that what you call that complete enlightenment or ascension so we are working with the energies to come to that point right now and just we're just waiting for our work to pay off and we're just looking forward and going forward in our journey don't stop don't look back just keep going forward because it's all working out and it's coming to fruition so that is the reading for today thank you so much for joining me again and thank you so much for your subscribes likes sharing and do comment below thank you very much this is marita from spiritual serenity